Welcome to the Office Update for October of 2017. In the next 10 minutes or so, I'll be giving you a quick rundown of the latest Office 365 updates. My goal is to keep you informed so you can get the most out of Office 365. Have you ever delivered a PowerPoint presentation to an audience that spoke a different language than you? Presentation Translator lets you add subtitles to a PowerPoint in real time. If you speak one of the 10 supported speech languages, you can show subtitles in that language or one of the 60 plus supported text translation languages. In the case where someone in the audience understands, for example, French, while another is most comfortable with Mandarin, your audience can follow along with subtitles on their own device in the language of their choice. If you want to translate your slides into the preferred language of your audience, that's a snap too. Simply click the Translate Slide button from the Slideshow ribbon, choose the language, and Presentation Translator does the rest. Presentation Translator is one of the many solutions developed as part of the Microsoft Garage, a worldwide community of innovative Microsoft employees who explore new technologies and design cutting-edge solutions to help you achieve more. You can download the add-in at the URL listed on the screen. While there, be sure to check out the other exciting projects my fellow Microsoft employees are working on. Back in the December 2016 update video, I made this prophetic statement. One upcoming enhancement I'm looking forward to is the support for three-dimensional objects. That day has finally arrived, and it's even better than I expected. You can insert 3D objects in Word, Excel, and PowerPoint the same way you add traditional graphics, via a button on the Insert ribbon. Add your own 3D files or access files in Microsoft's free online service, Remix 3D, which contains models contributed by people from all over the world. Once it's inserted into Office, you can use the controls to manipulate the image. Use the 3D control to rotate or tilt your model in any direction and drag the image handles in or out to make your image larger or smaller. 3D graphics become even more dynamic when combined with PowerPoint's Morph Transition. Simply duplicate your slide, reposition the 3D model, and PowerPoint creates a smooth, cinematic transition between the slides. To learn more about the ins and outs of using 3D graphics, check out the tutorial on the Office Support site. Do you ever experience challenges getting your children, I mean your audience, to look up from their smartphones during your PowerPoint presentations? Would you like to make your presentations more interactive and find out whether your audience is grasping your messages? Well, the live survey add-in for PowerPoint may be just the solution for you. Live survey enables you to create surveys in just a few clicks. Simply type your question, enter your response options, then choose the chart style for the results. Live survey generates a QR code to collect the votes from your audience via their smartphones and displays the results in real time directly on your slide. Participants can only vote once, but they can change their response if they've made a mistake. Live survey is a great way to keep your audience engaged and collect valuable feedback. And if you're using your PowerPoint as part of a training exercise, it can be used to assess whether the audience is learning the content. It's available as a free PowerPoint add-in from the Office Store and Microsoft App Source. While there, be sure to check out the other useful add-ins that enhance and extend Office 365. In addition to crunching numbers, Excel 2016's Get and Transform functions offer fast, easy data gathering and shaping capabilities. If you've been staying up to date on the Office blog, I'm sure you've noticed that enhancements to Get and Transform are released continually. Have you ever had a list you wanted to split into two columns, such as separating first and last names? Recent enhancements to the split column command makes this task a snap. Choose the delimiter, the split options, and whether to split into rows or columns, and Excel does the rest. Another handy new feature is the ability to add columns by example. Let's say I have a list showing when each state here in the U.S. was granted statehood. If I want a column that just has the year, omitting the month and day, I simply click on column by example, provide the value in the first row, and Excel does the rest. There are six more updates in the blog post we link to in the resources. 
Excel 2010 or Excel 2013 users can also take advantage of these updates by downloading the latest Power Query for Excel add-in. In the August update video, I covered responsive visualizations in Power BI, which makes Power BI reports more accessible on mobile devices. The Power BI team is taking the mobile experience one step further with the introduction of filters for reports on iOS. With report filters, you can quickly remove everything except the data you want to focus on. Even better, filters on phone reports require no extra work. If a filter is defined on the original report, it automatically works on phone reports. To view the filter pane, tap the new filter icon in the Report Action menu for page and report level filters, or open a visual in Focus mode and tap the new filter icon for visualization level filtering. All filter types and functionality available in the Power BI service and Power BI desktop are also available as phone reports. You can easily use the new Touch Optimize Filter experience to filter your report based on your selections. When you filter a phone report, you'll see an indication that a filter is active. Filters will first be available on phone reports for iOS. If you have an iPhone, I encourage you to create your own phone report and try them out. Earlier this year, Microsoft launched add-ins for Outlook on iOS, enabling access to your favorite apps right in Outlook so you can get more done on the go. We are now rolling out add-ins to Outlook on Android customers with Outlook.com and Office 365 commercial email accounts. This launch will bring some of the most loved Outlook add-ins from iOS to Android, including Evernote, Microsoft Dynamics 365, Microsoft Translator, Nimble, Smartsheet, and Trello. Microsoft is also launching several new add-ins for Outlook, including Rike, an online project management solution for Teams that keeps you on top of work projects by enabling you to quickly capture your team's communications in one place. MeisterTask, a task manager that adapts to your team's workflow by allowing you to quickly save emails as tasks in your project board without needing to copy, paste, or re-enter the content into another app. And my kid's favorite, Jiffy Cat, a solution for finding and inserting GIFs or GIFs, whichever pronunciation you prefer, to make your emails more engaging, expressive, and fun. These add-ins, along with the others covered in the September 8th Office blog post, bring your favorite apps right into Outlook on Android so you can accomplish more faster. Since its general availability six months ago, over 100,000 organizations have discovered how teamwork comes to life in Microsoft Teams. In early September, the Office team announced that Microsoft Teams is getting even better with the rollout of guest access to all Office 365 commercial and education customers. Now, Office 365 users can add people from outside their company to a team, so guests can participate in chats, join meetings, collaborate on documents, and more. Guest access has been one of the top requested features for Teams, and we've been working hard to get it right. Microsoft designed guest access in Teams around three core principles, teamwork, security and compliance, and IT manageability. For more information on how to enable guest access in Teams, Read the help and support article accessible from the link in the Office blog post. Then sign into Teams and give guest access a try. Yammer empowers people across the organization to have a voice, recognizing that different people express themselves in different ways. GIFs are a proven way to easily and visually express a thought. In fact, Microsoft recently conducted user testing, which demonstrated that GIFs encouraged more people to start new Yammer conversations and reply to existing messages. The Yammer team has now fully rolled out the ability for anyone to search, pick, and insert GIFs directly into their messages, enhancing Yammer as an open space accessible for everyone in the organization to easily connect. Microsoft recognizes that not all GIFs in the consumer space may be suitable for the work environment, so we've taken the most conservative approach in applying a G rating filter to the GIF selector. Simply click on the GIF option in any Yammer message and you can quickly search for the perfect animated image to express your thoughts and feelings. That's all we have time for. 
Remember to send your success stories or feedback to Office 365 Update Series at Microsoft.com. I'm Jim Narosky. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon. <laughs>